Toy Reviewer here and today we're going to be looking at the Pom Pom Wow Decoration Station. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at the box. Right here it says that this set comes with 75 pom poms and you can use them to pom pom your world. Here we have an actual pom pom that we can feel to see what they feel like and they are really soft. Right here it says that we can tie dye them paint them and sparkle them. All we need to do is stick, pull, and wow. Alright, so here is the back of the box. So it shows us what the set looks like when we put it together. And it also shows us the contents that are in the box. So let's go ahead and open it up. Alright, so the first thing that we have in the box is our decoration station. And it looks really cool. It says Pom Pom Wow right here. It's got these nice little designs on it. It also has some little handles here with the same design and it looks really cool. It's about the size of a lunchbox. So let's go ahead and open it up. So the first thing that we're going to need to do is open the handles out. Then we're going to open the back side. Then we're going to open the front and the sides. So next what we're going to do is we are going to assemble the adhesive dot dispenser. So what we're going to need is our 85 adhesive dots. Next we're going to need our dispenser. So there are two pieces here, one that is bigger and one that's a little bit smaller. So you can see that the one fits inside the other one. We are going to take our tape roll and place it on the big one like that and then attach the small one just like that. Next we're going to need to install the adhesive dot dispenser right here. So right here we have the watercolors. Now the watercolors have a cover. So here's the cover. So if you already have your cover on you will be taking this off and we can set this aside. But when we're done, we are going to place it back on top. So when I took it out of the box, the cover was already off. So I'm just going to go ahead and set it aside. Next, we are going to need to get our stamper pad. And what we're going to do is we're just going to remove the cover, which is this hard plastic piece, just like the cover that was on the watercolors. We'll just take that off and we're going to set it aside. And then we're going to take off this plastic right here. And then what we're going to do is we are going to put the stamper over on this side right here. Next we have our glitter glue pen. So what we're going to do is we're going to unscrew the cap. Then we're going to unscrew the tip. And this little red piece right here is the little plug. And this was just to keep it from drying up. And of course you can put this back on, otherwise you can just dispose of it. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to put the tip back on. And then the cap. And then this little glue pen is going to go over here. Next we have our pipette. And this one is going to go right here. We also have our markers, which are blue and pink, and they are going to go right beside the pipette. Next, we have our blotting cloth, which is just for cleaning up our station. So I'm just going to fold it, just like that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put it underneath of this clip. Next, we're going to install our water tray right here. Next, we're going to need our paintbrush, which will go right here. Next, we have this little piece, which we are going to place here. And I guess this piece actually goes underneath of the adhesive tape. Like that. Next, we have eight of these pom-pom trays. So these are going to go right through here and here. Right 
Now let's go ahead and place in our pom-poms. And what we're going to do is we're going to put that dark side down. Alright, so I have just set up all of our pom-poms. And of course we do have a bunch more, a bunch of white ones too, which is really cool because those ones will be really fun to color. So I'm just going to go ahead and set these aside. So another thing that you can do is you can actually take this side and take this little stand right here and kick it out like that so that now we have this little easel so that is really cool all right so one thing that is not included with this kit is a bowl and what we're going to need is a bowl with some water in it so that we can make our watercolors so before we get started designing what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you how to use your pom-pom so what we're going to do is we're just going to pull our adhesive tape and it's got like these little sticky dots on it. And what we're going to do is we're just going to stick the black end right here onto the dot. So let's pull it down and set it right there. Place on the pom pom and pull it up. Stick that back there. So now you can see that our pom pom has this little sticky piece on it. So now what we can do is we can just stick our pom-pom anywhere. So I'm just going to set it like that. It's nice and stuck down. And we just pull off this little piece right here. And then we just kind of wiggle it. And that is our little pom-pom. So now that we've learned how to use one of the pom-poms, let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing I'm going to need is the pipette. And we're going to try to do some watercolors. So I'm going to take the pipette and place it into some water by squeezing it and then releasing. And now the pipette has some water in it. So now what we can do is we can place some of the water in our water tray. And we can also take the water and place it on our watercolors. Let's pull these out a little bit more so we can reach the other two. Now let's grab our brush and just kind of mix the water with the watercolor. And I made a little bit of a mess. So let's go ahead and get our little cloth right here and clean that up and keep mixing all right so now that i have mixed all of my colors we're just going to slide this back over to the color that we want so let's see hmm maybe we should try some blue so let's move it over to the blue one okay now we're going to get some of our pom-poms so i have this one right here Let's go ahead and take this pink kind and we're just going to turn it upside down and then we're going to pull up the plunger and place them inside and then we're just going to press the plunger down into that blue and we're just going to hold it all right and then once we're done we're just going to pull the plunger back up and then pop this little piece out so here's what it looks like. It got a lot of that blue color in it. It looks really cool. And what we're going to do is we're just going to place it back on the tray to dry. Alright, so that is the first way to use the watercolors. Alright, so another way we can use the watercolors is by getting our brush. And we can dip it in some of that color right there. And then we can move it over to the tray, like that, and make some more colors. And we can mix some colors, so we clean that off. And let's grab a little bit of pink and we'll mix it with this purple right here. Alright, so next what we're going to do is we're just going to get a pom-pom. And I'm going to pick this white one. And then we're going to grab our pipette. 
So what we're going to do is we're going to place our pom-pom right here, like that. And then we're going to get our pipette. We are going to squeeze it and get some of that color, like that. So this is kind of like a purple color. And we're going to place it right here and squeeze it into the pom-pom. And let that soak in for a second. Alright, so now that that purple has soaked in, let's go ahead and get some blue. And I'm going to do the same thing, I'm just going to put some blue on top. And we're going to watch that one soak in. So it looks like that pom-pom is done. So let's go ahead and remove it. And I'm going to place it back over here. And I'm just going to make three more like that. And then we'll take a look at how they look. Alright, so here are what my tie-dye ones look like. So they look really cool. And we're just going to set them down so that they can dry. Alright, so now what we're going to do is we are going to use the stamper. And the stamper kind of works the same way that the paint did. So what we're going to do is we're going to pick the colors that we want. So let's see. Um, I'm going to do the purple and the green. And we're just going to turn this upside down. Pull up the plunger. Place it in. And then squish them down. I think I might need to move it just a little bit and then press down. I'm just going to kind of pull it up and press it down again. Kind of keep doing that for a second. And I think my little thing is not on the track right, so let's see. Let me pull it out and place it back in there. There we go. Stamp it down. Okay, so let's go ahead and pull these ones out. So, of course, you can see that the green ones just add a little bit more green to the tip. And the green ones right here got that purple. So that looks really cool. So let's try it again. And I'm going to try some little blue ones. Let's place it back in here. And this time we're going to try the yellow and the red. And press them down. And pull it out. So now we have a little bit of yellow on this blue one, which kind of turned it a little bit green. But for some reason, the yellow really isn't showing up as well as like the red did. So another way we can decorate is by getting our little pom-poms and our markers. So let's go ahead and take one of our pom-poms out. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to color it. So we can do one with maybe some blue. Like that. And let's try another one, but with some pink. And then another one. And for this one, we can do some pink on one side. And some blue on the other side. We can also take our pom-pom out and then color it. Now let's use a little glitter glue and we can just put a little bit of droplets on it and let it dry. We can also place our pom-pom down and take off the plastic like that and then we can grab our brush right here. And I'm going to dip it in some of the watercolor and just paint the pom-pom. So 
let's go ahead and try these ones right here that we did first where we just pressed the entire thing down on our paint. So let's go ahead and pull off this little cap. So those look really cool. All right, so here are the ones that we use the dropper to add the watercolor. So let's go ahead and take off the caps. So here's the first one that you guys saw me do. Here is another one that I did. All right, so here is another one. Let's see if we can get these ones. So that looks pretty cool. Let's try this one. Some of these are having trouble sticking because they're still pretty wet. So I didn't let them dry long enough. Let's go ahead and pull that one out. Alright, so these are the four that I added the watercolor to with the dropper. Alright, so let's try the ones that we used with the stamper. So this one had like a little bit of yellow on it, but not very much. I think this one had a little bit more. Alright, so these two had the green. Next we have another purple one. Let's take this one. And we have this one, which was a blue one that we dipped in red. We have this one that was blue and we dipped it in yellow. It made a little bit of like a green look to it. Alright, so here is one of the blue ones that had just a little bit of the yellow on it, which gave it kind of a little bit of green. And this one had some yellow, which also made it look a little green. And this is a blue one with the red stamper. And then here are two of the ones with the markers. Here's the other one. And here is one. See, this one had just the purpley marker. So that looks really cool. So we have a lot of these little pom-poms here, so I'm just gonna add some glue. A little glitter glue to them, make them look really cool. you guys so what did you think of the pom-pom wow design studio so I thought that this studio was really really awesome I think it looks really cool we got a lot of the pom-poms as you can see we have a bunch of pom-poms that we've already decorated our slots are all filled with pom-poms and we have some more in this bowl so we have plenty of them we have a lot of glitter glue left we have our markers our uh, watercolors so there's plenty of stuff left to make a whole bunch more so that is really cool and of course when you're done all you need to do is just close it up so let's go ahead and try closing it just like that and we're ready to go so that is really cool so let me know what you guys thought of our pom-poms I think they all came out really really nice and I had actually just stuck them on some little wax paper here so that I can take them off and place them where I want so let me know what you guys thought and if you guys like this video don't forget to like subscribe comment and stay tuned for more pom pom wow videos Come back tomorrow for a new video, and if you like the video you just saw, don't forget to check out our other videos. Find us on Facebook and other social media, and as always, thanks for watching.